Happy holidays and welcome back to Weapons Grade Extras. For episode 3 I'm joined by the lovely Sarah and we're going to be looking at stocking stuffer board games. Uh, games that, well how would you describe them? Well a stocking stuffer board game to us is obviously something that's going to fit in a stocking and that something is under $20. Yeah so kind of an impulse buy and something obviously that'll fit in a stocking. So uh, Sarah why don't you start us out? Well uh, we each picked a couple here and so my first choice was Dungeon Roll. Uh, Dungeon Roll is a great dice player game. Um, dice player game? That's good. Um, well, anyway, dice game. Dice rolling game? Uh, I love it. <laughs> anyway, uh, where it's a simple dungeon crawl, but you, ro you roll um, dice to see kind of what's going to happen. Uh, you, you can play... Um, two how many people two to four two to four people uh we've played with two and three have we played a four player we i think we don't, did one time with maybe them. i think so it was great um so so far i have not had a game work that i didn't like um there's a lot of opportunities for risk taking or if you're a little bit safer you can well just leave the dungeon <laughs> just leave the dungeon yeah uh, my choice is a two-player only game. Uh, it's based on Mr. Jack, and that's Mr. Jack Pocket. Mr. Jack Pocket is uh, its pretty much a complete re-implementation of Mr. Jack. It's, it's the same theme and the same idea. One person plays as uh, Mr. Jack, Jack Thrupper, and is trying to escape from the other player who is playing the detective. The difference in this game is that instead of having a static board uh, where players are starting in specific spots and you have to narrow it down by who's in next to uh, lantern or lamps and uh, other characters, in this one it's a tile grid and you shift the tiles and move the tiles around and uh, at this point I'm hoping I have some images to throw up on the screen. Uh, so we have, uh, and, and you'll, you'll be circling the outside of the, uh, the tiles as Sh uh, Sherlock Holmes and uh, Watson and the dollar. So it, it's a really cool twist. It's it's a cool game in and of itself I really like mr. Jack, but I really like mr. Jack pocket too. They're completely different in the gameplay elements And it's a really fun game The next game that I chose is uh, one that hunter already did a review on but it's the ascension deck building game um, It's just the small apprentice edition uh, I really love uh, Ascension. I, I actually got it um, the full edition from my aunt for a birthday gift and the apprentice edition is great it's really good for uh, two players obviously and just something quick easy you can take it wherever you go because fits in your pocket and so um, I just love it everything about it um, unlike Hunter I kind of disagree or in Hunter's review that the, you don't really need, if you have this, you don't really need the the base kind of game anymore. I, I enjoy that part too, but this is really great if you're just looking for something cheap and easy. Of course you enjoy it because it's your game. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, I, 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 I'll i throw a little annotation of our review. I won't throw a lot of gameplay of that one up, but uh, it's, I, I agree. So far, I, I agree on both those games. I really enjoy those. Uh, this next one doesn't get talked about as much anymore. It, it kind of had a little bit of hype around it when it came out, but kind of faded off the map, and that's uh, Space Hulk Death Angel. And this is, uh, I don't believe this is the Silver Series, is it? Yeah, this is Silver Line uh, from Fantasy Flight. When they st I, I don't know if they still do the Silver Line games, but I really, I'm a huge fan of the Silver Line style of games, uh, just the small box games that they do. I think they've started making them a little bit bigger, but this is kind of like that, uh, uh, citadel size box it's really portable really small and there's a lot of game in this little in this small box this actually has a few expansions in it as well uh, which were print print on demand expansions that fantasy flight does uh, essentially it's a card based co-op game where players take the role of space marines uh, space marine terminators going through the space hulk ship uh, as tyranid Aliens attack. It's essentially the movie Aliens. If you've never seen Aliens, then I can't do anything for you. But essentially the movie Alien or Aliens, uh, except with much more power armor and done in Games Workshop style. And you're, you're trying to go through and they're attacking from all sides. And you can kind of flip the organ the way your uh, cards are organized in a row. It's kind of just a row of soldiers. And based on where they're orientated is where they'll be attacked. So it's a really, uh, it's actually a really difficult game I find as well. Um, the base game is beatable with the expansions. The expansions pretty much just, there are a couple that make the Marine stronger, but there's a lot of ways to make the game a lot harder. So it's one of my favorites. It's it's a really, it's a really fun game that I've had for a while. It's just, it's, it's really good bang for the buck on this one. This one, 
I break the rules a little bit. MSRP on this, I believe, is $25, but you can find it a lot cheaper than that. So I, I'm I'm already breaking the rules here, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, my last choice is kind of a random game. It's called a uh, Red Tat Cat. So this game is, some people might call it childish, but I really like it. Um, you basically get four cards, you have to memorize the outside two, you're trying to get the lowest score possible in your four cards. Incredibly, incredibly simple. Um, I've recommended this to a friend of mine who actually um, uses it in a classroom that she teaches in and she says that her kids love it and it's really a great way to get them to do math and stuff in the classroom. Um, but as an adult, I just love this game. It's super quick and very cheesy. <laughs> it, it's a really cool game. It's one of the earlier Game Right games, and if you know Game Right, they do lots of, uh, uh, not, I wouldn't go as far as say childish games, but they're very kid-friendly games, I'd say, so I, that definitely falls in that same territory. I, I do enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Good for the whole family. Now, my last slot was originally going to be Resistance. Uh, Resistance, if you don't know, is a very popular uh, cooperative game. It's not, I don't know why I say cooperative. Trader game, <laughs> the exact opposite. It's semi-cooperative. You think you're, you think you're, you're on someone's team, but they might be betraying you. It's kind of a hidden role. It's, it's exactly a hidden roles game where one per, one or more people are going to be traitors. Usually more. Uh, it's a really great game. I still highly recommend Resistance. If it's like an honorary mention, that's exactly what it would be. But I recently got Coup, and Coup's going on the list. I, I want to see how much of the light I can reflect on this one. Uh, Koo has got the shiniest box ever. <laughs> uh, this one's not, I'm not going to say this replaces Resistance in any way, but it's in that same kind of vein. It's it's a hidden roll game. Uh, instead of only having one hidden roll in this game, a spy or a Resistance, a member of the Resistance, in this one you have two different roles. And there are, I believe it's like eight different roles in the game, or six or something like that. I think it's six, yeah. There might be only six. There's only five. Oh, well, I have no freaking clue, apparently. Anyway, <laughs> there's 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 a few different roles in the game, and uh, you're dealt two. They could be two of the same one. They could be due to two different ones. But you don't... Your opponents don't know what you are. You know what you are. But you can pretty much bluff what you are. If you want to... Like, the Duke lets you gain three coins. If you want to say... Hey, I'm gaining three coins, and someone doesn't think you're the Duke, they can call you on it. If you're the Duke, they lose a card. If you are, the, if you're not the Duke, then you lose a card. So it's kind of like a, a big game of, uh, of uh, I don't want to say the word on camera, bull, uh, bull crap. <laughs> so it's it's uh, BS. A, if you will. BS. We'll say we'll say BS. <laughs> it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's it's really one of those. Uh, it's a really quick game. It doesn't. It, I'd say it takes about as long as Resistance, if not less time. And it's really cheap. It's like fifteen bucks. It's a, we we played this. We sat down when we first got this. We sat down and played it like ten times in a row. Just I kept playing. It, I couldn't stop. It's, it, it had the exact same impact on me as Resistance. It's really fun. Yeah, totally worth the money. And just like Hunter said, tons of fun. Even if you're like me and is a terrible liar. <laughs> truth tellers. <laughs> yes, truth tellers games. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, and I'm going to throw them in here. I, I've talked about them, I harped on them enough this year, but Love Letter and Hanabi, throw the links to the reviews somewhere. They'll be floating around here somewhere. Uh, they're still, they're, they would they would be on this list. The only reason is I've talked about them so much. I want to mention them just in case you've somehow seen my channel and missed those reviews because I've been glowing about those games all year. Hanabi's amazing, deserves Spiel des Jahres. Uh, Love Letter's amazing, does so much with so little components. Both of them are very cheap, fit in a stocking, just... Just perfect for this list as well. I just want to give a little more love to some games I haven't talked about yet. Love to the love letter. Yeah. Do you have any like like uh, honorable ones you left mention? off honorable mentions? Yeah. Man. Um. Well, Saboteur, I really like it. Um. Well, and you kind of mentioned it a second ago. Uh, Citadels. Citadels. Yeah. If, if you have a lot of people in your group, Citadels is a great game. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I I think overall these are all really good suggestions. I agreed with pretty much all your entire list. Uh. I broke my own rule. I shouldn't have made rules. That's the first problem with making rules. You're always going to break them. Yes. So, it, I, if I could suggest one game overall, I'd probably suggest Coup just because it's cheaper and it's probably more available and I'm loving it, but uh, I'm going to get sued by McDonald's. But anyway, I, I, I really uh, I, I really, I really enjoy stocking stuff for size games uh, for more than just uh, 
Christmas because these are my favorite like portable sized games. This is my favorite like this is my wheelhouse as far as games that I like because it's they're easy to take to parties and other people's houses and things like that. Like and, laundry. Or to laundry when we do when we do uh, laundry. So yeah. Uh, what are your guys' uh, favorite stocking stuffers games? That's stocking stuffers games. Stocking stuffer games. Uh, we have talked about ours. Obviously, I've seen a lot of lists. Uh, Board with Life has done a stocking stuffer list. I'll link that down in the description. Uh, I believe uh, one tar might have been one Tiffany. I, I, I'm not sure actually. If not, I'll just link to one of her videos randomly because I mentioned it now. Uh, there's been a lot of stocking stuff. Dice Tower does their own stocking stuff. But I want to hear from you guys if you guys are maybe uh, wanting some stocking stuff or games, some things that you're wanting to get for yourself or uh, things that you're getting uh, for other people. So I'm, I'm always interested and I could use some tips for, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Because <laughs> these, these we have already. These This is this list doesn't help me. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, if you guys uh, leave some comments, uh, uh, message me on Twitter, uh, follow us on Twitter and Facebook, and... Uh, yeah, just we, we want to get y'all's opinions on this stuff. Uh, and if you have any ideas for topics for next time, uh, definitely send that to us. The, our next episode actually is already set. We're going to be doing New Year's resolutions. Uh, so if you have any uh, uh, gaming-related resolutions, uh, send them our way. We, we can include them in the next video and, and you know attribute your name and everything to them. Uh, we're really interested in that. So uh, until next time, guys, I'm Hunter. I'm Sarah. And we'll see you next time in the game room. Have a happy holidays.